so in this video, I want to talk about what I'm taking to the hospital with me when I go into labor. Um, I have a couple of bags packed. The first bag is um, kind of the bag that I started out in. I was going to do one bag my stuff and one bag baby stuff, but now it's kind of a mixture. <laughs> so, um, and I'm just going to go based off of whatever's on top. But I wound up um, wanting to make sure that I brought some kind of tank top um, for when I'm not in like a gown situation um, and maybe I'm wearing a t-shirt and I can just raise up my t-shirt and then pull down my tank top so that I'm not exposed um, when I try to breastfeed at the hospital. And then my friend had gifted me um, receiving blankets and I'm sure they have them at the hospital and I really don't know how much I'll need them, but I did pack one. So it's really cute with little clouds. Um, and then um, I joke because, so I know that I'm gonna have to be wearing postpartum underwear. Postpartum underwear or diapers. I heard that the ones that they provide in the hospital are not comfortable and ill-fitting. So I had, like I said, initially I had this bag, which actually I don't know if I show. I've had this bag forever. It's just a silver big bag that's just got one big compartment mostly. It's got one big compartment for everything. A couple little pockets off to the side that are really small and then like a side zip, zip up uh, compartment that's really small. It's a bag from Target. It's kind of standard for Target. Um, I really need to up my bag game though, my purse and my bag game because I just don't really have anything. Um, Cause I used to not travel a lot, but now that we live far away from our families and I want to travel more, not just to see them, but just to travel more, I really need to actually get some luggage, uh, which I don't currently have. Um, anyway, so this was just stuff for me. The other bag was for Vivian, but again, I had to kind of reconfigure some things. So now there's some of her stuff in here, some of my stuff in there. Um, but I joked uh, because I had re realized that I didn't bring any snacks for in case, um, in case I give birth really early in the morning. Really weird about food, like touching things, even if it's in packaging, like I just didn't want the bag that I had di diapers in, even though they're, they're clean and haven't been used before like in with my food. So I moved Vivi's diapers over here. Uh, and I joked with Danny, I was like, yeah, um, I'm gonna put uh, Vivi's diapers in here with mine. So I packed newborn diapers um, cause they can fit up to 10 pounds. I don't think I'm gonna have a 10 pound baby. So I don't think I need to bring the size ones, but I packed like, and again, I don't know how long I'm gonna be in the hospital because I don't know how it's gonna go. I know that um, in general for an uncomplicated vaginal delivery, one to two days after you give a birth, C-section, like I think it's like three to four-ish. So I brought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine diapers for her. That's probably not enough, I don't really know. I know that they have um, diapers at the hospital, but these are honest diapers, really pretty designs. Um, and then mommy's diapers. Jesus. I brought, I also brought wipes. Um, these my friend sent to me. So I brought wipes, even though I probably don't need them because I'll probably use in the hospital stuff, but I'd rather have them than not have them. Um, and then I brought some toiletries. Um, these are refillable three ounce containers are made of silicone. I uh, showed these when I was doing a video about um, things that we were buying for the hospital or for the baby. Um, and I've got body wash, conditioner, shampoo, face wash, and lotion for me and Danny. I mean, I think that'll be enough. I think that the hospital does provide some things. Um, like they probably provide soap, maybe shampoo and conditioner, I don't really know. But I didn't ask and I just went ahead and decided to bring my own stuff, so. Also, I think I got this in the mail, it's like a shampoo conditioner sample, and so I just threw this in there. Cause, I mean, I feel like little samples like this are probably really good for traveling. So, um, phone charger. Uh, 
Um, and deodorant. This is the deodorant I've been using forever. That spray deodorant from Dove. So I put that in there. Um, and then you'll see I have a couple hospital gowns that I bought because I don't want to wear the ones from the hospital. But I also brought... Um, I mean, if I have a vaginal delivery, then I don't have to worry about an incision on my stomach. Which I've heard that if you have a C-section, you have to be careful about pants that you wear afterwards. I'm not anticipating that I'm going to have a C-section, but I brought two shirts and two pairs of pants. Um, I'm a classic horror freak. I've shown these shirts before in videos, but I'm so behind on videos on editing that I don't know when people are going to see what. But I brought Friday the 13th shirt to change into. I also have, um, these are... Some maternity pants, just regular black from a pee in the pod. And they come in around the ankles because I'm short and I can't have my pants dragging. Um, and then another pair of pants. These are not maternity, but they're like, I feel like once I don't have the baby in my stomach anymore, my stomach might be a little bit smaller and these will be a bit more comfortable because right now I'd have to wear these under my bump. But they're really, really loungy and really loose fitting everywhere else so I figure everywhere else it'll be comfortable so maybe it'll be comfortable in my stomach too and then my second shirt that I brought is my never sleep again t-shirt which will be appropriate because I'm gonna be a mom but these are a couple of my favorite shirts I got them both off of uh, red bubble and then I brought one pair wait no I bought I brought three pairs of socks little black and white smoky tie-dye uh, these are Nikes Nikes then in this bag this is actually a really nice bag um, Danny when he started his new job they gave them bags like for their laptops and he already had one from this place called Chrome that he loves to shop at. Um, so he doesn't use this day to day. And we were like, I was going to just buy another bag to use for her stuff because excuse to buy another bag. But um, we just had this and we're like, whatever, like we don't need to spend the money for another bag when we have this. And it's got a lot of compartments. It's actually really, really practical. So I'll start with the outside compartments. Um, I packed my contacts because I wear dailies. Um, I used to wear contacts that were like monthlies, but up here my eyes are so dry that um, I had to get like the thinnest, most breathable uh, contacts as possible. Otherwise, like my eyes suffered. And then I just went ahead and threw in some Q-tips with my contacts for me and Danny to use. There's another front compartment. So I put my vitamins and stuff in this compartment. Um, I've heard that the medication that you get when you give birth makes you constipated. I'm already ahead of the game because pregnancy has made me extremely constipated. Um, I packed stool softeners and laxatives. I don't know what I'm going to be allowed to take afterwards. I've heard you take laxatives. Obviously when you're pregnant, well not obviously, but... I researched and found when I was pregnant that while you're pregnant, you can't take laxatives because it can cause contractions and you can miscarry your baby. I won't be pregnant anymore, so I don't know if they'll let me have laxatives or not. Laxatives obviously get the job done faster. So I packed laxatives that I had in case I can take them. And then um, I put some stool softeners in a little baggie in case I have to take these instead. Um, and then I put my normal pills that I would take in little baggies and just label them like day one through day four and these are just all like my regular pills that I take on a daily basis most of them are for digestion um, because I just naturally am a person that has digestive issues 
so I just want to make sure that I keep up with that when I'm in the hospital. And I did four bags of them because I don't know how long I'm going to be in the hospital. So I just want to make sure I'm prepared in case I have to have a longer stay if there's like unforeseen things that happen. So the outside compartments and then inside. <gasps> Um, it's like split up into a couple big compartments and like a divider in the middle and then the divider has some pockets, which this is really, really handy. So in the back compartment, I have one of my hospital robes, which I've shown this in another video. Um, one of them I'm going to wear when I'm giving birth. The other one I'm going to wear afterwards, just when I need something loose and I don't want to wear pants because I've just given birth and I, you know... So basically they're the exact same gown, but in different colors. I don't know which I'm gonna wear at which time, but I have two of them. And then I brought some clothes for Vivi. I personally didn't buy her any onesies that were um, without legs or um, arms, <laughs> long sleeves or long leg covers, Jesus, okay. Um, so this one is a onesie that my friend gave me and it's for newborns and, um, or zero to three months. So just in case, I don't know, we need something that's short sleeved. I brought this and I brought, how many, I think I just brought one pair of socks to go with this if I put her in this. But, um, of the things that I bought for her, and because I know that she's going to be needing warmth, I brought this onesie, which I've shown in another video. Um, I got these from Carter's. I brought three onesies for her that are like long, that cover everything that'll keep her warm. And then this one's got a little hood and it's for newborns. I brought a trash bag for any dirty clothes that are needing to be kept separate. I don't know how bad the hospital gown is going to get that I'm going to give birth in, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it or if I'm going to have to throw it away. Uh, and then the other day I was realizing, I was like reading an article about what to bring your hospital bag and they were talking about snacks. And I was just like, oh, I don't need snacks. Like we'll just get takeout. But then I'm like, what if I give birth at 2 a.m.? I'm going to and I haven't had anything to eat like for hours for like a day or whatever. Like labor takes a long time and I've heard they don't let you eat. So um, I brought a little Debbie cake. <laughs> A Reese's bar, well, four Reese's king size, which it says king size, they're not that big. And then a Dove bar. A trash bag has made this whole bag smell like perfume because it's like scented trash bag. Um, and then I brought hot and spicy Cheez-Its. These are the best Cheez-Its in the world and I find that stores don't carry them that much anymore. There's a Target in Tequila that does carry them, but the Target downtown doesn't, and I can get them on Amazon Fresh. But that's pretty much it for snacks and for everything else. Like that's basically all I packed. And then of course, the day of, I think that when I actually go in, I'm gonna be wearing these Adidas slides that I have. So I'm not gonna pack those because I'm gonna wear them when I go. And then the only makeup I'm gonna bring is probably like, mascara stuff for my eyebrows and that's it um i don't plan on doing myself up and like having a glam photo shoot in labor and delivery um but i will bring a couple things just to make me feel somewhat put together after i've showered um and then i'm obviously using my toothpaste and my toothbrush but like i'll pack those as well so there's certain things that i'll pack on the day that i'm currently using that i can't pack ahead of time but i think that i've done a pretty good job about packing everything ahead of time that I can. And obviously, if there's anything that we've forgotten, because Danny's gonna have to come home every day, twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, to feed the cats, check on them and everything. So he can always pick up something if we need to. So. Any day now, basically.